SJ, two practice games under the belt now, although we haven't had a win yet. How are you finding the job? Look, it's been quite good. It's been very pleasing. It's great to work with some real quality young kids, which we've got at, at our disposal at the moment. So that's been really encouraging, I suppose. Um, uh, the last, especially on the weekend, we're, we're, we're really happy just to get through, I suppose, without any injuries at all. And uh, most importantly, get some, I suppose, good edits and that out of it just so we can teach, because that's what it's all about, education. So, But no, after two, we're, we're reasonably happy uh, where we're at at the moment. It certainly helps, I suppose, our, our list is really healthy at the moment. So on the weekend, we're lucky enough to have, I think, 13 listed playing. So it was good to get a couple of miles into a, a few of the boys that really needed it before we come into round one. Boys went down by 22 points, but it's a good result against the 2015 grand finalist. How did you see the game? Oh, look, they're, they're a pretty impressive side. We're, we're really happy. Our, our first quarter, uh, we kicked 3-3, three, three, unfortunately, to their five straight. And in our second quarter, we're really disappointed probably with our efforts and the way we went about it. So the boys addressed that at half time, and, you know, we had a good chat about it. And we, we come out in the third quarter and um, we're a hell of a lot better. But unfortunately, I felt we didn't really get rewarded for our effort. We kicked, uh, I think it was one goal six. So that was disappointing in itself because we really did uh, turn the game around. I thought Keegan Brooksby was fantastic in that quarter. We moved him into the ruck uh, and he certainly changed the, the game around. And then the last quarter, um, I think we outscored them by four or five points. So so overall, you, you come away fairly pleased and pretty excited, I suppose, about uh, the up and coming year. Just on Keegan Brooksby, obviously he started down back. It's not a role we're familiar seeing him in, but he looked pretty solid down there. Look, he's been terrific, and uh, if he's to play at AFL level, that's probably uh, the spot he's going to get in, so hence why at the moment uh, we had him down there. If he's to play in the ruck, I suppose, with us, it'd suit us if it was all about winning, because um, he's just a terrific ruckman, and not only the work he does in the, the centre square, it's the way he gets all the boys together and organises them and has, has them all set up correctly, so he plays a really important role, but no, we put him down back, and look, I didn't think he'd done anything wrong down there either, but at half time, we, we felt we needed to change a couple of things up and we did and we threw him back into the ruck. Jamison Daniels, he's come in as our NEFL captain for 2016. He puts his head over the footy, leads by example. What impact do you see him having having this year? Oh, look, jemo has been very impressive uh, since he's come on board. He's been great with the young fellas, of course, in his role with the academy. Uh, he's under Rainsy, of course, as an assistant coach. So it's great that we're able to have Jemo play with us because we get a number of the, the academy boys top up with us during the year, and we had a couple on the weekend. So to have Jemo out there and leading by example, it, it certainly does help uh, the young fellas. You're right, he, he does put his head over the football. Uh, at times, I think he might have gotten in trouble on the weekend for being a little bit too flamboyant. <laughs> I think, um, but look, he, he's great to have around and he's going to be a very impressive player for our Neufel side. Braden Fiorini, new to the club, had plenty of the footy against Aspley. He did. He's a terrific. He's going to be a very, very good player. Um, fortunately, he got a, a heavy knock just towards the end of the game and got concussed. So I'm not sure. Um, you know, I know he didn't train today, the young fella, but he's going to be something pretty special, I think. Uh, real excitement for, for our fans, supporters out there for the coming years. He's, he's going to be quite a player. Jared Grant, first appearance in Suns Colours on Saturday. A little bit rusty, but showed some good signs. Yeah, he was a little bit dusty early, Granny. Uh, he certainly worked his way into the, into the game. Uh, he hasn't had a run, obviously, for a while now. But to get out there, it was just good to see him out there. Unfortunately, over the complications he had with... Uh with his, um, his wrist there and of course falling off the bike and all that didn't quite go to plan his pre-season. But look, he's up and about now, he's got to run under his belt and I expect him to be uh, uh, a lot better obviously as we move forward. Cam Lorsch, obviously very raw but showed a lot of talent, looks like a true forward capable of kicking big bags. How do you see his game? Look, he's been actually very impressive since he arrived. Uh, he hasn't played a lot of footy last year, I think had glandular fever for, for most of the year. So when he arrived, he was very green. So the first time we really got to, to have a real good look at him, obviously, was in the last two practice matches, and he really presents up well to the football. So we've been actually very impressed with what, what Cameron's been able to do. Final practice game this Saturday before the real stuff starts. What are you looking to get out of the game against the Lions? Uh, what are we looking to get out of it? No injuries. I'd like to get no injuries out of it, obviously. And then, of course, we go into round one. We've got uh, Northern Territory up there, so it's going to be a pretty tough one on the road. Uh, but I'd like to hope uh, we, we stick to our structures and a few things we've been working on. Um, our transition's been pretty good offensively, and I thought we were a little bit disappointing at times when we are defending on the weekend. So we work on these particular little areas at training and hope to improve, so that's what we try to get out of it. Plus, 
place some of the boys, I'd like to think, um, into some form. Uh, the last couple of weeks, a couple of boys have been playing for their spots uh, to make the AFL side, of course, round one against Essendon. So I'm hoping a couple of boys put their hands up for that. So that's pretty exciting. Thanks for your time, mate. Absolute pleasure. Thank you, gentlemen.